power hour today i took two shorts got stopped out break even on two shorts and guess what i then switched to a long and i made over four thousand dollars i'm going to show you guys the exact trade the entries the exits all the fun stuff right here in the video how i use the book map how i use my emas and all that fun stuff to make over four thousand dollars in profit trading the es right here right now We're gonna be watching 68s here. If we break through the 68 level, looking to get short for the move down. So we're breaking through 68s there. Gonna jump in short here for this move down. See if we can get this move today down through that 68 level on the book map right now. Showing 65s down there. So I'd like to see this thing break and just start selling through, possibly pull back down there. I think like to the 50s possible here, end of days. So Right now, short five contracts, looking for this breakthrough, the 68s. We got that support right there. Kind of looked like we were gonna get right through there, but right now, just waiting. Bunch of support down there at 65 right now on the book map, they're holding it up here. So we get through that 65. Let's try to get down there into the low 60s next. That 65, 66 level right now, just showing support. There we go, getting the dump finally. You can see on the book map, taking out that liquidity. So 65, needing to sell through next. And then we get this break to the 51. Everything looking beautiful right now. We got the MACD cross. We got the break to the downside here. We had the overall down, uh, we had the overall trend that was pushing up there to the 70s. We broke through that level. My entry was right below the 67, that 68 level, getting that break to the downside here. And looking for this move down into the 50s here, end of day for some power hour action, my friends. So right now, down there are the 64s. Can we get down lower? I like to see, I like to see possibly, we gotta break through that pivot point on the SPY at the 403 area. We already broke through the pivot on the ES at the 69s. So if we can get through 60s here, we can try to move down there into the 40s, I mean into the 50s here, end of day. We got about another uh, 45 minutes until the market closes here. 45 minutes. The key is kind of watching that 13 EMA here. I'm gonna move my stop to basically like 69. So we're only risking 400. You can see kind of the high of these candles here. I'm actually gonna get out right there. I think I'm gonna switch up long. This thing looking like it just wants to squeeze up here end of day. Just see what, if we get back over Back over the 13 EMA, over this level, 68, looking to get long. This thing just does not want to go down, so let's try to see if we can get a quick rip back up over the 70s here. They just did not want to let that thing go, so we're going to get long. We got stopped out for basically break even on the short, and then we jumped in long and said, all right, let's go. You don't want to go down, then let's go fucking up. You know, let's go fucking up. You can see that pivot point on the SPY held there. So that right there, we saw that pivot point acting as support and I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm getting long. We wanted that just to crack right through that pivot there. There we go up to 69s now. Let's see if we can push all the way up there to the high of day again. The high of day up at the 74, 75 levels. So end of day action. We got the pivot point on the ES at that 69.25 area. We talked about that pre-market before the market even opened with that idea of this thing pushing up there to that 70 level. Right now we got the high up there 74. So just kind of looking to see if we can get this thing to ramp up. Give me one big boner candle to the upside here through the 70s. And we look to take some profit. Look to take some profit. Like I said, just looking for this push up. 73, I'll take 70, 73, 74 maybe, we'll see. Let's see how this looks going into the end of the day. Always a good possibility of a little squeeze end of day or a dump. Normally get some kind of end of day action, momentum. Momentum and volume there end of day. We'll see if we're gonna push through the 70s strong here. It's so much nicer when the market moves in the direction that you want, obviously. You know, when you're in a trade and it's moving in the direction, like earlier when we were shorting and it just didn't want to go down, it's so frustrating, but now, obviously, we're seeing the move up here, so 
looking for this push up here end of day we got about another 20 minutes in the market till the end of day here so we like to see this push up through that 70 level we don't want to put in a double top here or like a lower high we really want to keep pushing don't want those bears to have any ammo to try to pull this down I'm trying to push through 72s here let's go macd crossing on the three minute chart right now so everything lining up beautifully to get this push we just need more volume more action end of day well, let's go it is currently 3:40 in the afternoon here on tuesday and looking to see if we can get this push up all the way to the 74s 72s about to get taken out looking pretty good here tapping there's a big seller at 72 but he's getting taken out he's gonna get taken out here watch oh yeah oh yeah he's going he's going he's out of there for a second we took most of that liquidity out 72s so we should be able to push through 72s here 73s we got that 75 liquidity on the book map just sitting there right now we get through that 74 75 level it's off to the races. I think we can push up their 80s here end of day. So I got my target at 77 right now. I'll take that. That's literally perfect to get that move. If we can get through 75 right here, I think there's no reason we can't take out 77. That 80 area is resistance on the Monday was the high, that 80 area. So right now trying to push through 75s here. Let's go. Looking for this push through 75s. Let's see if we can get all the way up there. 77s now on the book map. Trying to get through there right now. We got a big iceberg seller sitting there. 75s. Eat through that 75 seller. We're going to the fucking 80s. We're going through the 80s, boys and girls. If we get through 75 here. So 77 being my target. I like it. Book map just basically telling me that this thing's going 78. Just, just looking at the book map right now, I'm pretty much like confident. 100% confident this is going at least 77s. There we go. Through the 75, 76s. I'm about to get filled. Watch it happen. I'm about to get filled. Get ready. Big iceberg seller sitting at 76 right now, actually. Oh, my. Look at that thing. Get them taken out there. We're going 76s, 75s. We're about to get filled. I'm telling you. I told you I was confident through this move here to get that push up there with the 78s. I'll take my profit here at the 76.75 and then I'm done. The problem now is I think let's just move this up a little bit more because if we squeeze more, like if, if we pop through that 76.50, we're going to go 77.50. There's no reason to take profit here at 76. We get through that iceberg seller at the 76 area. We go 78 easy. And so I'm going to go ahead and just move up my targets here i'm gonna move it up 70 let's go 70 fucking eights on it the spy push up there the 405 through the 405 on the spy here here we go the 350 algorithm trying to get through that 76 level here looking for 78s there we go 78s perfect getting filled absolutely beautiful my friends let's fucking go Ah, cooey! Look at this. This is a 2000 tick chart we're looking at right now. Look at that. All the way up there to the 79s. It's fucking game on, baby. Taking profit there, 78s. There's the push up there, the 80s, 81s. She's going all the way on the book map. You saw that big, massive move. The book map definitely being very important today for this end of day action. And there's that breakthrough, all that liquidity. We push up there to the 80s now, the high of day, 80, 75. Like I said, beautiful move here on the three minute chart the spy pivot point acting as support we got long we got that push up there these pivots you they don't lie the pivots love to get moving and touching and all that fun stuff so a beautiful move there locking in some massive profit there on that one trade alone i mean that one trade alone was almost five thousand dollars in profit there so forty six hundred dollars in profit there on that one trade alone and you guys saw it all live the idea of going from short so getting long and then look at that move up here look at this thing from that entry there at the 65s all the way up there to the 78s absolutely this thing could go 85s right now i mean who knows but there's that buy algorithm that algorithm turned on there at 350 perfectly and squeezed it right up there to my target and we locked it in so absolutely uh just exactly well 
absolutely exactly well exactly what we wanted to see so the lesson of the day if the market doesn't want to go lower you're short you're seeing that it's holding it's got support it doesn't want to go lower well guess what it's time to get long and that's exactly what we did we took two shorts basically break even trades a little bit of profit and then i was like hey this thing doesn't want to go it doesn't want to go down it's holding the pivot points it's making the move let's get long switching to the long and there's that big move up there and locking in some beautiful profits right here in this video so if you guys haven't hit that subscribe and like button all the button down below i'll talk to you guys later on